Good morning, Washington Street family and friends. Um, welcome to our Ohio home. This is our backyard where we're going to get to spend the next few minutes sharing just a devotion that God shared with me in the middle of the night. He has a tendency to have my attention when I don't have so much to do and I can't sleep. So I get up and one of my go-tos is a book called The Power of Pause, P-A-U-S-E. <laughs> if you knew us, you would know we're dog people. And so many people ask me how to spell that. This book has a subtitle, Becoming More by Doing Less. The world doesn't, doesn't tell us that. So I look over this book a lot of times when I wake up and I have so many things on my mind and many times worries. And so I stop to pause and remember where to take those worries. I opened up to a devotion called the seven wonders of the world and it reminded me of the wonders of our world sometimes we can focus on the big things and so i began to read and of course it caught my attention because it's about children and i love children there was a first grade teacher that was trying to teach her students about the big wonders of the world. So she asked them to make a list of the wonders. Many of them wanted to raise their hand and share their list. The Grand Canyon, the pyramids, and they went on and on. And she was just so proud. And she noticed a little girl sitting confused and shy. And she asked her if she'd like to share from her list. And the little girl said, I think I misunderstood the assignment. She said, well, share with me from your list. And the little girl said, the seven wonders of the world hmm, are to see, to hear, to touch, to smell, to feel, to love, to belong. No wonder Jesus loved the little children. In childlike wonder, she, she got it. The world tells us Bigger is better. Jesus told us, as he talks with the disciples, if you, in the 18th chapter of Matthew, I tell you the truth, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, humble yourself like this child, and you'll be, then you'll find the greatness. Have you lost your wonder? If you're looking, God will bring wonder into your life in the most unlikely places. I was trimming a bush the other day and saw a bird's nest and thought, oh, I would love to capture that. My grandson would love to see that. But the closer I got to the bird's nest, the more I realized it wasn't empty. And so I got far away. But before I got far away, I saw those little babies with their mouths open they heard something, and they thought it was their mama. The wonder 
of new life can replace the worry. But we have to pause. Sometimes that's hard to be still. But the Good Shepherd told us it's important in order to restore our souls. My prayer for you, Washington Street, and the rest of our world is that we take time to be still and search for the wonders in our lives. If you need some help, call a child and tell them you're looking for something to wonder about. I guarantee you they'll come up with something. Let's all remember how important it is to have childlike faith all the time, but especially during challenging times. Peace be with you as I say goodbye. I want you to know you're in my prayers. God bless.